Hey, this is Matthew. And this is Andrea. And welcome back to Trek Untold. It's now April 1st, so you know what that means. March Hall time! Yes, it is. It's time to check out what we got in March. I wish we had a catchier name for that. Yeah, we really don't. It's yeah. just kind of, you Yeah, know, you guys want to name us, feel free. We're looking at a bunch of crap that we bought this past month that we didn't necessarily review on the channel. It's not crap. It's beautiful, beautiful bounty. That slowly eats away at my bank account. True, but gives us loads of happiness and fills our soul. With debt. And happiness of stuff. You can't have happiness without debt, am I right? That's a topic for another time. Let's show you what we got. And so if you guys notice that we sound a little bit funny today, that's because we're trying out a different way to record our audio. I'm mic'd up today. We're using a Rode video mic. And I'm too active to get a mic. Pretty much, yeah. He doesn't trust me <laughs> with it. Well, let's get started. Anyway. We'll get some toys, yeah. <laughs> So this is a little bit of a lighter month, but I should run down a few things we looked at this past month that were some highlights. And one of those would be some of the New Japan Pro Wrestling toys from Super 7. So this was definitely a hot topic uh, the past two or three weeks on my channel. Because, yeah, we did reviews of all the figures. I also did a big overview video. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of good. There was a lot of bad. And there was some ranting. There was definitely some ranting. And I even did a follow-up video because, you know, I'm not the only person who thought that there was some good and some bad. Uh, in fact, the Major Wrestling Pod did a video where they interviewed Brian Flynn from Super 7. I did a reaction video about that as well. Uh, you guys apparently liked hearing me talk about New Japan stuff, and hopefully there'll be more of that in the near future too, because I, I did enjoy the figures, but there were still some things that left me wanting more. And if you want to learn more about them, go check out the videos. Shameless plug, shameless plug. In addition to that, we also got a really big box from Eagle Moss. We love Eagle Moss. These guys are awesome. This is part of the Hero Collector Division, which handles all of their Star Trek stuff, all the sci-fi franchises, all their Ghostbusters things, their WWE things. But we specifically have a box of Star Trek items, and that review is coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. And we also got a big mystery box you guys are seeing here from fun.com. What's in that? Well, that's going to be another video. He knows I don't, so um, you're getting real reactions. Pretty it's much. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, so stick around for that. But let's talk about what we've got that we're not necessarily doing reviews of this month. Great, let me move these. All right, so should I start? Well, yes, because you have the most stuff. <laughs> that's true. I kind of do this time around. Well, let's this start with this guy around. here. So we're starting in pro wrestling because, uh, you know, last time I talked about me trying to get all of AEW Series 1. Well... I got Le Champion, Chris Jericho, Wave 1. With that face. With that face. You know, it's a little bit better than the bubbly one, but still not great. I love the outfit, hate the face. I basically got this figure just for that outfit. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't blame you for that. I want that scarf. Yeah, and I should mention that I did get the Young Bucks as well, uh, which I got, this as well I got from Ringside Collectibles as part of a damage sale that they had. I didn't like the Young Bucks. I was actually really disappointed by them. And that's makes me sad because I wasn't really too into the Young Bucks from Wave 3. Wave 1 had nice outfits, but the heads still left me wanting more, so they got sent back. Uh, you know... Eventually you'll get them. Eventually I'll get a good version of Young Bucks, but until then, meh. Until then, you're just gonna be left without your Bucks. No Bucks for me. Nope. The Buck stops there. And in addition to that, from the world of pro wrestling, I also got two Kara Pro figures here. This is from my personal collection. So I've got on this side the great Sasuke, and over here, one of my favorites of all time, Ultimo Dragon. Even I know who Ultimo Dragon is, mostly because you don't stop talking about him. Yeah, he, he's really awesome. He's one of my favorites of all time. I know. Uh, he's actually going to get a Boss Fight Studio 6-inch action figure soon, which okay, they just showed cool. photos of. I am so hyped up for that. I know you haven't seen these yet. I don't know if you care about them that much, but here is great Sasuke. Okay, that's a cool face. He's really cool. And here's Ultimo Dragon. Oh, Ultimo's kind of cool. Yeah, Ultimo's awesome. So It's actually a really nice figure. It is. And the cool thing about this was... He basically had like the same style of outfit, but different colors over the years. So with this particular figure, there's like, I think six or seven variants in different outfits with different belts. That's pretty neat. Also, I can't get over how they how they made sure to like really capture the shape of his belly button and nipples. That was very important to these figures, yeah. Yeah, like I'm, I'm really genuinely surprised. I mean, that that's that's a shape. I gotta be honest too, like the, the dragon's amazing, but I, really I, cool. I really like Sasuke too, because like that looks like his face. I know you're not familiar with him, but I think they captured his likeness actually really well. Uh, there's a lot of great movement in the figure. It's surprisingly good one for one that I wasn't too into at first. Yeah, this is a very dynamic figure. Um, when did it come out? This must have been like end of the 90s, maybe. Let's see, there's, there's no year there. No, it kind of has the vibe of the 90s, so I'm willing to go 
go yeah. with that assessment. Most of the stuff was like late 90s, early thousands. Pretty sure this would have been close to like 98, 99 maybe. But they're really cool. I'm really excited about these. You know, you guys know I've been doing some car pro Japanese pro wrestling figures uh, every Monday for the past few months or so. We're, we're going to get back to some more of those very soon also. I don't know how much more I'm going to do with them because there is so much more history I don't know about them. So I feel like I kind of need to take a step back and learn more about those figures. But I love them. And if you love them too, go ahead and check out those videos. Now, I know you're a big X-Man fan. Yeah. And this is one I know you're excited about. Oh, shit. So you didn't see her. So I got really lucky. I ordered the House of X Moira McTaggart figure from Marvel Legends. Oh, wow. And she sold out quick. Sorry, she's beautiful. Yeah, that's the back. Oh, I didn't even look at the back of the box yet. That's really gorgeous too. Oh, dang. So this is her from House of X. This is like the current ongoing story in the X-Men series. And it's it's actually a really great line. I was tempted to get the entire wave, to be honest. Like, the it's also got Wolverine, uh, Marvel Girl, Cyclops, Professor X. I gotta say, looking at these figures, I kind of wish you had gotten the rest of them, too. I, I still <laughs> might, to be honest. I mean, they're really good. And this Moira, she has sold out everywhere. She's yeah. gonna, She's surprisingly the hottest figure in the bunch. No, I'm not surprised at all, because there isn't a Moira McTaggart. We have plenty of other... You know, a lot of other these other figures, but Moira doesn't exist in any way. And what's really cool about this, too, is the fact that it's two figures in one. Because you can actually pop off the head, of course, and you get the two different heads. The lab coat that's there also comes off. You have separate arms. So I you've got so two different figures in one. That's really I, great. I like that a lot. And I love that she has the book. Oh, yeah, the book is great. This is really cool. This is an excellent figure. I don't know if we're going to ever open it. At some no. point we will, but okay. All right, we're not opening it. We, that, that's... we treasure her. I feel like I bought this for me, but it's going to end up with you. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I didn't really get a lot this month, but I got a few things that I think I'm pretty happy with, including something that I, I've been looking for for a little while. Okay, look, when it first came out, I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to do it. And then I kept seeing more and then I was like, shit, I got to do it. So I caved and I started doing the Supernatural Funko Pops. If anyone has a, has a beat on a really cheap Bobby Singer in box, would love that because that's the one that I really want. I know I will never get Dean with Baby, but if I can get a Bobby Singer, I'd be happy. But instead, I have Castiel, and that also makes me happy. And this is the Hot Topic exclusive version. He's got the wings. So I think Hot Topic just restocked this, because I think it's actually an older exclusive. They just, for some reason, happen to get a bunch back in. I have no idea what the deal is, because I know that this is a vaulted, this is a vaulted line, but hey, I'm happy. I, I know I have Sam and Dean, so having Cass is kind of important. I think I have a Crowley. <laughs> Oh, I don't have Charlie. If I can find her, cool. If not, eh. Like, I love Charlie, but at the same time, I didn't need a pop of her. It's Bobby I needed. I needed Bobby. If anybody's got a Bobby, let us know. Yeah, seriously. And, I, and of course, I have, you know, Jim Coach Dean, because everyone needs Jim Coach Dean. What, those, that white outfit with the headband? Dodgeball? <sighs> I know. I, yeah, I know. I don't care. So if you guys remember last time in the previous haul video, I showed off my Cobra Infantry Trooper from G.I. Joe Classified. Mm -hmm. Well, he's got a brother now because I've got a second. And I wasn't necessarily going to buy two of them, but, uh, you know, i got to tell you guys a story here. So we went to Walgreens. Awesome. It was, yeah. So we went to a Walgreens and we're looking around and I was like, oh, they got nothing. And of course, out of the corner of my eye, what do I see? A Cobra Infantry Trooper. Mm -hmm. So I go up to pay for it and they punch up and register. It's $10. It was $10 for some reason, which honestly leads me to believe that somebody who works at Walgreens is messing with the system and getting some figs for good prices because that place is always cleaned out. Yeah. So I get the feeling they just left this guy behind or something or they forgot to change it back. I don't know. I got it for 10 bucks. I'm not saying no. I got my army builders. I'm happy. There was a happy dance. Yeah. I'm not even joking. Happy, happy dance afterwards. And I'm not really someone that makes army builder things here, but I wanted to get at least two of these guys for the time being. This is going to most likely be it for me. Maybe I'd find one more, but honestly, at that price, I think I'm good. Like, seriously, he saw what it was on the receipt and was just like, oh. I tried to play it cool so that the person working there didn't realize they messed up too. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, you gotta. You gotta keep it cool. Anyway, let's move on. What you got? What you got? Because I don't even know half the stuff you got this month. Well, I got some Star Wars guys. Remember these? You were there oh, when I yeah, got them. Oh, yeah, I was there for those. Yeah. I love that one. So I got some Star Wars Black Series Sweet. Empire Strikes Back figures. Here's Chewbacca. That's really? An awesome Chewie. Amazing Chewbacca. And I got Luke Skywalker in his Snowspeeder outfit, because I love the pilot outfits in the Star yeah. Wars movies. Yeah, okay, yeah, they're pretty great. This one might actually not be my favorite because it's a Snowspeeder one, so it's a little bit longer in the jacket. And I don't think the helmet comes off on this one. I think the X-Wing one from A New Hope mm. does. I don't think this one does. Oh, no, we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. I'm happy either way, especially this Chewie's sick. I love this Chewie. Yeah, this is amazing. Like, the Chewie is the highlight. I mean, this Luke is pretty cool, but the Chewie. He, he was all like, I don't know, should I get it? Should I get it? I'm like, yes. I have no regrets. No regrets. Okay. 
if this is what I think it is, then I'm about to be super, super, super stupidly happy. So we're doing a live unboxing here now too. Yep, we're doing a live unboxing. Hopefully I can open this without the use of scissors. Oh yes, I can. Ah, oh, okay. I see bubble wrap. I do see bubble wrap, okay. I'm really excited about this because um, this is something that came up in a group that, I, well, this started out as an article. Uh, it was a blog, a blog article, and then I brought it to a group of um, theatrical people that I know, and we all started talking and reminiscing, and then finally I went on to eBay. <laughs> I went to eBay, had him order it for me, just because it's a lot easier that way, and yeah, I am super excited. Ooh, wow, that's, oh, that's really pretty. That is a clean copy. I am, it's sealed. I'm so excited to finally own one of the most underrated animated films ever, The Chipmunk Adventure. The Chipmunk Adventure. The Chipmunk Adventure. This movie slaps. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. I believe that's what the cool kids are saying these days, but it does. It just slaps. This is like mint condition. I don't even think you should open this one. Look at that. Shut your mouth. I have to. <laughs> I need to be able to watch it. That's true, but I mean, wow, this is nice. I know. I love just, oh. Like really, this movie is just such a great movie. I mean, it makes no sense, the plot. I mean, Alvin and the chipmunks and you know, the chipettes, they're going across the country in hot air balloon to deliver stolen goods, even though they think it's a contest and wh whatever. It's about diamonds and uh, it's about thievery while they're competing <laughs> against each other. It's a great summary of the movie. It's about thievery. <laughs> The chipmunks are, are about thievery. They don't know they're thieving. I mean, technically, like, their whole career is about stealing popular songs anyway and then recording it back in high-pitched voices. That is true. So see, it, it all fits. It adds up. And meanwhile, you know, Dave has no clue what's going on. He never does, that moron. I, except for one moment where he's just like, hey, there seems to be a party happening at, at like, what, the Acropolis or something? <laughs> <laughs> or the Coliseum? That looks like Alvin. Oh, he's all, I hear his voice, even though he's, like, miles and miles away from me, including up in the sky. But I still think it's him. No, I must be hallucinating. What are those bright lights? And uh, that's my reenactment of Dave Seville. What a moron. Yeah, I know, but I have this and I'm so happy. I'm so fucking happy. I'm trying not to curse, but it's so hard not to curse. I'm so happy. So this is one I got in a Facebook group recently. <gasps> yes! And yeah, you know what it is. So this is from Art Asylum and Diamond Select Toys, Lieutenant Commander Jordy LaForge in his Star Trek Nemesis outfit. So what's cool about this is that this was actually an exclusive. I, I want to say it was a, a New York Comic Con exclusive, actually. I don't know if it says in the front of this, but it, it does say it's an exclusive. So this was a numbered exclusive, limited to only 1,701, of course. And I happened to get one for a very good deal. Now, sadly, I got a good deal on it because as you guys can see here, it's been beat up quite a bit. Like, when I saw the photos, I didn't look quite as bad. When I got it in hand, I was like, ooh, this is rough. Okay, uh, especially because, like, on this side here, it's kind of starting to come out a little bit. Yeah, but what really matters is whether the figure is intact. The figure is intact. The figure is amazing looking. Mm -hmm. This is such a great figure. It's a gorgeous figure. There's a story behind this especially, too, which I'm going to get to in a whole other video. So stay tuned for that. But, yeah, I mean, this, this Jordy is so rare. Like, even yeah. finding him on eBay in slightly better condition, it costs almost double what I paid for this. Oh, wow. So I got really lucky. I'm not complaining. I'm happy with it. I got it. Oh my goodness, yeah. Oh, I, I'm remembering now you telling me about this and I'm like, oh, this is the one. This is the thing, yeah. Dang, that is a pretty, and I'm really glad you got it. Me too. Mm -hmm. Recently, a trip to the Lego store was made. Thank you for that. <laughs> yes, by me, by me. But, but, but I'm a Brickheads collector, or at least I was until they stopped doing the, you know, licensed stuff. Like seriously, the Brickheads are an amazing price point. It's a, it's a perfect price point for good quality Lego stuff. I mean, it's not a dynamic set, but it's a nice figure and it's a great display piece when you once you put it together. It's such a great stress reliever, seriously. They're really nice. Yeah. Great so, bargains. Mm-hmm. So you were in a Lego store and, well. <laughs> Speaking of debt. <laughs> he got me a bunch of stuff. <laughs> you don't even know what's in that bag. I don't, do I? You forgot. I kind of did. You forgot. <laughs> okay, well, no, we'll start with the first one. I've been eyeing this one for a while. I finally caved. Lady Liberty. I don't know why. I just figure she looks cute. It's a Statue of Liberty brick hat. <laughs> why not? You know, why not? Well, they're not doing licensed, stu licensed stuff as much, but they are doing animals. You got kitties. I got kitties. Yeah, they're doing two packs essentially now, too. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like a one and a half pack, really. Yeah, well, um, you show me a single pack too, and I was just like, eh, no, I want to get two. 
Two is way cuter. Got pandas too. Pandas. I like pandas. That's a really good set. That's. This is an awesome set. This this one's really cute. And this one, by the way, is actually an exclusive. This is oh, the really? Lunar New Year exclusive. Oh snap! Okay. Well, that makes a lot of sense, and yeah. I'm really glad to have that. Next, back to licensed stuff. We got Donald Duck. And Goofy and Pluto. So they are still doing a few licensings. It's not a lot. No, and the only stuff that I've really seen lately has been either um, Star Wars, because I did get the Mando and Child Brickheads, and also Disney. Um, I think I missed out on the Mickey and Minnie when they came out. I think you did, yeah. Yeah, I remember thinking, oh, I'll be able to get it plenty of time, plenty of time, then they were gone. Yeah, that's yeah. Brickheads for you. Yeah, but it was surprising the way that they shut down the line. It happened so fast that then everyone just started buying them super fast. It's like they basically said there was going to be no more, because we asked at a Toy Fair, I think mm -hmm. like two years ago, and they said, oh, they're kind of done with it. And then I guess there was a demand, they brought it back. Yeah, it was a great line. Like, seriously, this stuff is therapeutic. Uh, I've honestly sat there stressed out and just put Brickheads together. You know how they do the, they're doing the stuff for adults? This is a simpler version where you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars. It's 10 to $20. How great is that? Yeah. You know, and they're really cool. I mean, I'm still sad I, w I missed out on the Ghostbusters and the Jurassic Park set. Yeah. Park sets, yeah, but... I'm sad about the Ghostbusters especially. <sighs> that was a mistake. That one hurts. And finally, I have no idea what this last one is because I genuinely don't remember asking for it. Yeah, that's right, because you didn't ask for that. I did not ask for this. This is friggin' awesome. So what you didn't know was that there's a deal at the Lego store where if you spend 100 bucks, you get this for free. So I spent a hundred bucks. I bought a few other things, and I got that. So you can have Amelia Earhart for free. Yay! Free. Thank you. Yay! And I should probably show you what I got to hit that hundred dollar mark. Yes, I would like to see that. Do you have it? Do you have it? What'd you get? So I got for myself this guy, which is adorable. Oh my God! It's a New York taxi. Yeah, it's a New York taxi Lego. I thought that was like so cool. Uh, you know, I, I like Legos a lot, but I don't buy them that much anymore yeah. because. To me, they're kind of a money sink, and as you can guess, I spend a lot of money on other toys, so I kind of leave the Legos to Andrea. Yes, But much. I had to get this one, because this is so cool. It's a New York taxi. Oh my god, this goes so great with the Statue of Liberty, too. It does work out really well, doesn't it? They're right next yeah. to each other, so it worked oh out. Oh my god, that is so cool. And I also got, this is new, yeah, you've never seen these actually in person. What? These are the blind boxes for their new video line. These are their minifigures, and it's like a new subset of Lego, where uh, they work with an app on their phone, so you have like Legos play music and stuff, and these are the little oh minifigures for it. Oh my goodness. So should we open some toys? Yes! Oh my gosh. Which one do you want? I think there's a little tiger. I kind of want that. But uh, I hope we didn't both get the same. That would be terrible, but I think we got different ones. Yep. Oh yeah, we got different ones. I kind of okay. want to build this taxi now too already. Right, but no. <laughs> Let's see, so. I got a bunny. A bunny. I got. I'm not even sure what. I think I got a thing. shark. So yeah, it's like you basically get the app. You make like a little music video clips with them. You use special effects and things. There's a lot of really cute ones in this too. Like, oh my look God, at all these. There's a red panda. Oh, I want the oh, red. A fox. I don't yeah. know. There's like a cheetah and a red panda, and there's like a green snake lady who I'm into, of course. Uh, so I got. Looks like the the shark dude. Yep, and I got the bunny lady. <laughs> she comes with it. A little boom box, I think. And so they each come with three clips. And so I don't know like how this part works. If anybody's played with these before, you can let us know. Yes, but please. They each have these little things that they call clips. So I don't know if that's like how you access special effects on your phone, but that's basically a part of their their little thing. So let's see how my guy works here. I think I just I'm just gonna put it together over here. And here's my little shark guy. Oh, that is that's actually really cool. Oh, I like that. Okay, so yeah, so here she is. Oh, she's got her little boom box. Put it in front and yeah. These are great. These are really cute. I like how dynamic they are. Yeah, this is totally a gateway drug, isn't it? Oh yeah, no, these are great. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have some problems here. Yeah, we are. Do you remember how much you paid for these? I think these were four or five or six, somewhere around that range. Cause they're just okay. like the blind bags. So they're yeah. not, they're a little bit more expensive because there's like a few extra bits, but it's like a dollar more than normal. Okay, I think. so then they typically go for five. So, so I think these might have been six, six yeah. Okay. That's reasonable. Yeah. Sorry, so here's one I've been looking at for quite some time. I've been waiting for this guy. <laughs> Fans might know, which I don't really talk about these that much on the channel, but I'm really into Overwatch and especially the toys. And this is one I have been, hello over there. Uh, there I am. This is one I've been looking for for a while. I have wanted to get Reinhardt for so long. And I've been avoiding it because I've just waited for these guys to go even deeper on clearance. Yeah. So, Plus, you have to make space. Yeah. So I finally got Reinhardt here. So he was half off the normal price, which is normally 60. He was down to 30, as, which I feel like a little bit more fair. Um, but not only that, you might notice Reinhardt is upside down. The reason for that is because this was actually a display version from the GameStop we went to. So because of that, I was able to get a little bit extra percentage off. Yeah. So I saved even more money on Reinhardt. I finally got him. Uh, he's enormous. <laughs> yes, he is. He, he, yeah, I've, I'm so happy to have Reinhardt. Such a cool figure. 
Should you really pull happy. him out? No, well, we can. I'm really happy for you because you've been talking about him way too much. Every time we pass one. Seriously. Every time. Awesome. And look at him. Look at that pose. He's walking. Yeah, he's actually already. Wow. That's basically how he was probably on display. Yeah. Uh -oh. Look at that hammer. Right? Of course he'd attack you first. Well, he's hard. I don't want to knock him off. He's jauntily walking. He is. <laughs> I'll let you put the hammer down. Overwatch fans got that one. You have no idea though. Nope. 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 Hammer down. All right, so we're winding down here and uh, now we're basically headed to our finale. So I got something really cool from the Noble Collection. They contacted us and they do a lot of really cool stuff. We're gonna be looking at them a little bit more coming up. We'll get to that in a second. But what I wanna show you guys, you haven't seen this yet either, nope. Andrea, is Noble Collection is doing bendy figures. Do you remember bendy figures? I do remember bendy. Oh, snap, that looks really good. Yeah, I cut you off because you remember bendy figures, but these are really friggin' amazing this bendy figures. This is heavy. These are heavy, check it out. These are the Star Trek bendy figures from Noble Collection, somewhere over here. It fits even though it blocks us. Look, yeah. it's Kirk and Spock. But seriously, like I, I never collected bendies as a kid. I didn't no. like them, they were kind of goofy. These are stupid good looking. I never collected bendies. I might've owned one or two. Just, God, don't fall over Reinhardt. But what? wow. Like these are really good bendies. Like lightnesses might not be 100%, but they are still excellent. Painting job is really great. They come yeah. with accessories. Dang, they have phasers and communicators. What? We're running out of space here. Here is Hura <gasps> and here is Bones. One might be, I think, probably the best actually. Bones his is pretty good. eyes scare me. I actually think Spock's the best, <laughs> but his, Bones' eye, it looks good, except for the part where Bones' eyes are like a little wonky, but <laughs> wow. These are really great, right? Oh my gosh. So we're gonna be doing an entire Trek Back Tuesday episode all about these figures. About and in addition to that, uh, we need to make some space, I think, because I have some other things. How are we making space I have no here? idea. Despite saying we don't have as much stuff as last time, we have like more stuff. I don't know how we did that. I do, but you won't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bring them out, bring them out. What are they? So we also have Ooh. the Justice League bendy figs. Ooh. So there's Superman and here oh, he is Batman. He also, they both look excellent. Yeah, these are really good. Especially, I think they're not really contending with actual likenesses, it's yeah. a lot easier. Um, so I also have uh, the, I think it's the full six. We also have Flash, Green Lantern, and Wonder Woman. So we're, I'm not gonna show you guys those. We have That's, Wonder Woman? We have Wonder Woman. That's gonna be a different video, so stay tuned. There will be a full video with all the bendy figs coming soon. Wonder Woman! But that's not all, Andrea. What else we got? Because Noble Collection is really, really awesome, and they sent us one piece that's coming up, again, very soon on a Trek Back Tuesday. You have no idea. No, I really don't. Close your eyes. Oh, crap. It's gonna get good. Is it a Ferengi? No, it's not a live Ferengi. They're, they're oh. in another quad. No, geez. Oh my god. Is it a Tribble? Just close your eyes, lady. They're already closed! <laughs> I'm just guessing. I want Klingons. Klingons! I don't know how I'm gonna even get this on camera. I don't know because my eyes I'm out of closed. space completely. When do I open my eyes? I guess just do it now. Holy crap! Luckily, I already got B-roll of this, so I can just focus on your face, but this is the tri-dimensional chess set from the Noble Collection. Oh my gosh! And in case you guys can't figure out, this thing is enormous. As you can kind of see in this video for scale, this thing is huge. Oh my god. So check it out, literal three-dimensional chess set. Oh my gosh, maybe now I'll be able to learn how to play. I, I doubt it. <laughs> I don't think that's the best way to learn how to play chess. <laughs> so hello, we're over here now. So yeah, we put this thing down. It's enormous, like for scale, uh, here's Reinhardt. He is like <laughs> nine inches maybe. I think he's close to nine inches and yeah, this for is- scale, here's Lego minifig. <laughs> Yeah, this thing is enormous, uh, and we are gonna open this up on an episode of Trek Back Tuesday coming very soon, but just wanna say thank you again to the Noble Collection for sending us this thank awesome you. stuff. Thank you. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're, you're gonna really freak out when we actually open this thing. Oh, oh my goodness. This is a beautiful piece here. Uh, I'm, I'm so grateful for them for sending yes. this over to us. I cannot wait to, to look at this, and yeah, thank you. I don't thank have, you, thank you. I don't have much more words because we gotta just get this guy out of the box, but that's gonna be another episode coming up later this month here on Nerd News Today. So yeah, this is our haul. We got uh, quite, a, quite a nice bit of stuff here, didn't we? Yes, yes we did. Wow. wow. I feel like we're in like an episode of Charlie Brown where we're like walking past the brick wall. Like, gee Linus, Halloween's terrible this year. No, no, it's like this. Oh, I see. Hey, we should go downstairs. Don't. Acting. Ah, uh, you can't even see me. It's like, it's like one of those skits from Hee Haw. <laughs> <laughs> 
So thank you guys for watching this unboxing video here on Nerd News today. And by the way, if you want to send us some stuff to take a look at in a future video, be it a toy, comic, movie, whatever the heck you want that you want to have us take a look at or just talk about, here is the way to send it to us. We've got an address on the screen. This is the mailbox of our friends over at Rageworks. So follow the instructions there and you can send us some stuff and we'll show it in the next month's video. We'll show it, review it, love it. I don't know, hate it. We'll do something to it. If you want us to destroy it, we'll do it too. I mean, we're, we're not picky. That got dark. <laughs> sorry. Real dark. You're not sorry. You're not sorry. I'm just saying, if people want to see, see us have fun with their stuff, we'll gladly, you know. Set it on fire and sacrifice it to the Elder Gods? <laughs> yes. What, what's wrong with that? Fair. Jeez. So anyway. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, so I'm Matthew. I'm Andrea. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys the rest of this month with our various and typical boxing, unboxings. What are we doing? I'm just like gone. Reviews, podcasty stuff at Trek Untold. More Star Trek, lots of Star Trek, all Star Trek all the time. And a lot of stuff that you're not seeing here because this is the stuff we're not unboxing with the exception of this bad boy. Yeah, and a few other little things here. A bunch of other things here and there, yeah. So, but we got more stuff on the way. Yeah, so we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye.